Sir Bobo Royal to represent him for Black United Nation TV with Yale Manuel last year and Marcus Garvey. You know what I say? So I say, Chant a summer day, whether it rough or calm a day. Seven summer chant three times a day. So I keep the wicked evil force away. No me go so chant a summer day, whether it rough or calm a day. Seven summer chant three times a day. So I keep the wicked evil force away. Black United Nation TV. Yes, I. Blessed love, my Lord and Empress, Prince and Princess. Yes, I. Give thanks to my viewers and subscribers. If you are not ready, subscribe to my channel. This is the Black United Nation TV. You can go ahead and support the Black United Nation TV by like, share, subscribe, and give thanks and praise. Holy Emmanuel I, Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari, Marcus, Messiah, Garvey I, Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. Yes, I. Blessed love to my viewers and subscribers. The topic for today, who is the first Rastaman in the entire world? In Jamaica and the entire world. Well, no further. Look, he's right here. Marcus Messiah Garvey is the first Rastaman in the entire world. In Jamaica and the entire world. Marcus Garvey is the one who said, Look to Ethiopia, you shall see a king crown. Take him for your God and your king. Then the African children who in Jamaica who came here through slavery and the slave trade started to realize when Emperor Isla Selassie I get crowned in 1930, 72 nation rally to the throne of Ethiopia, Africa and crown Isla Selassie I king of kings and lord of lords the only man in history up until today, 2024, to ever crown king of kings and lord of lords. So the African people with the wisdom that we have in Jamaica and the advice that Marcus Messiah Garvey gave us started to realize that this is our God and King, Emperor Isla Selassie, because Marcus Garvey did make the prophecy before Emperor Isla Selassie get crowned and said, look to Africa, you shall see a king crown. Take him for your God and your king. So then, when someone asks you who is the first Rastaman in Jamaica, then you can say, it is none other than the right Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. Some people say that it was Leonard Powell, but it is not so. Leonard Powell gained his inspiration and teachment from the words of Marcus Messiah Garvey also, as many were leaders in Africa and the Caribbean. So then, Marcus Garvey is the first Rastaman in Jamaica. The Right Honorable King Emmanuel Charles Edward, President, God and King, Founder and Leader of the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress, the Black Christ in Flesh, always say that he come to fulfill the works of Marcus Messiah Garvey and Emperor Eilis Selassie Ja Rastafari. So we give thanks for the works of this great prophet, Marcus Messiah Garvey, the man who come in the darker days and open the eyes of millions of black people around the world. Yes, I. So when Marcus Garvey 
began to print literature and began to establish them across the globe in the Caribbean, in Africa. Many of the leaders in the Caribbean and the Africa give Marcus Garvey a big fight, especially the JLP and the PMP give Marcus Garvey one of the biggest fights, you know. Although Marcus Garvey is the first national hero of the country called Jamaica. So Marcus Garvey was saying, Africa for the Africans, those at home and us abroad. Marcus Garvey was saying, black people future is ruined in the West. When someone say your future is ruined in the West, that means we has no future in the West and we can see it up until this day that the black man has no future in the West which can controlled by the Ku Klux Klan, CIA, Baphomet government. So we give thanks for the works of the Honorable Prophet Marcus Messiah Garvey and know that he is the first Rasta man in Jamaica. Tell the world that Black United Nation TV said so. So we give thanks for all royal black sons and daughters. All black sons and daughters at home and us abroad. Will Emmanuel I, Celestia, Ja, Rastafa. So then, in the Bobo Shanti government of King Emmanuel, Marcus Giavi is considered. The prophet, without the prophet, there has been no vision. Marcus Garvey is our God and our King. We deify the ancestors, you know, to make him our God and our King, you know, and prophet, you know. So he stand within the prophet, prophet office. Without the prophet, there will be no vision. Prince Emmanuel within the priestical order. Without the priest, there will be no ceremonial order. King Celestia stand within the kingly character. Without the king, the people perish. Empress Menen, our mother of creation. So then, we glorify our African identity, not the European identity, which the evil white world come and place upon us. So when Marcus Garvey began to print his literature, the European colonial rulers in the Caribbean and Africa banned Marcus Garvey literatures from circling, circulating across you know, the population. Yes, yeah, so when them banned these literatures from circulating across the community, the little children would come and hear speakers, you know, read them out and memorize them in their memory and go into the village and tell what they hear to the villagers, you know, so they couldn't hide the message, you know, the message soaked through like water, you know. They couldn't hide the message of the right honorable Marcus Messiah Gavii, Selassie, Ja. Rastafari. So we give thanks for such powers, you know. And we hear that some people say that Selassie, Marcus Gavi and Selassie, you know, like Marcus Gavi, you know, this the king, but nothing like that, you know. Marcus Gavi respect the king, you know. The king respect Marcus Gavi, you know. So we give thanks for know that, you know, the black prophet, you know, come, you know, and, you know, redeem, you know, and, you know, educate, you know, his people. Marcus Messiah Gavi I, Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. So Marcus Gavi told us that up ye mighty race, you can accomplish what you will, you know. Reach for the stars of equality and justice, you know. Marcus Gavi told us 
that you know we must worship our God through the spectacles of Ethiopia, Africa, not through the spectacles of the evil white world, European, you know, Christianity. So we're gonna let you hear the voice of this marvelous, you know, prophet, you know, our God, you know, Holy Manuel I, Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari, Marcus I. Did not suffer and die to give me an education to flight, oppress, or discourage my people. Because whatsoever education I acquired out of their sacrifice of over 300 years, I shall use for the salvation of the 400 million black people of the world. And the day when I forsake my people, may God Almighty say there shall be no more life for you. <laughs> Critically rejected the racist assumption of much white American Christianity, namely that God had created a black man inferior and that he had intended Negroes to be a servant class, pure of wood and drawers of water. Well, I predicated my view of man on the doctrine of Imago Dei. All men, regardless of color, are created in the image of God. Now, from this premise, follow the equality of all men and the brotherhood of all men. The biblical injunction of Acts 17, 26 reminds us that he created of one blood all nations of men that dwell on the face of the earth. I was most interested in brotherhood within his own race. Because if Negroes are created in God's image and Negroes are black, then God must in some sense be black. <laughs> if the white man has the idea of a white God, let him watch if his God as he desires. We have found a new ideal. Because whilst our God has no color, and yet it is human to see everything through one's own spectacles, and since the white people have seen their God through their white spectacles, we have only now started to see our God through our own. But we believe in the God of Ethiopia, the everlasting God, God of Father, God of Son, God of Holy Ghost, the one God of all ages. That is the God in whom we believe, but we shall worship him through the spectacles of Ethiopia. For 250 years, we have struggled under the burden and rigors of slavery. We were maimed, we were brutalized, we were ravaged in every way. We are men. We have hopes, we have passions, we have feelings, we have desires just like any other race. The cry is raised all over the world of Canada for the Canadians, of America for the Americans, of England for the English, of France for the French, of Germany for the Germans. Do we take it unreasonable that we, the blacks of the world, should raise the cry of Africa for the Africans? <laughs> Yes, I. That was the words, you know, of Marcus Mosiah Garvey, you know, the first Rastaman in Jamaica, you know, 
Black United Nation say so. So, you can leave, you know, your thoughts and comment in the comment section. You can, you know, leave a like, you know, share, subscribe, you know, to our channel, you know. You know, you have the white United Nation. We don't care about people. We continue to see the war going on all over the world. The white United Nation have no teeth. They cannot do anything to the evil white world to stop the war, which the evil white world continue to, you know, unleash upon the entire world, you know. So, this is the Black United Nation TV, you know. So, you can, you know, subscribe, you know, help the Black United Nation TV to grow. Marcus Mosiah Gavi Eyes, Lassie Eye, Ja Rastafari. Blessed.